Connor is originally from the Midwest, spent a lot of time there, and I imagine you've seen tornado activity quite a bit over the years. Oh, yeah, up close. In fact, I usually chase them in the spring. I go out to the Midwest and, and chase these things. The interesting thing about that was, of course, it occurred over water, so it's considered a water spout, but as it moves over land, then it becomes a tornado, and they can do damage. You know, we can get uh, damage up to EF1 status in that case. Just enough shear in the atmosphere yesterday to cause that water spout. Today, it's been a lot quieter, more clouds, and in fact, cooler temperatures. We only made it to 65 in Portland. 71 in Eugene, mid 60s out towards the coast. A little bit more sunshine out east, and we got a little bit warmer. The Dow's ended up right around uh, 71 degrees. Now, as we look outside today, again, a pretty gray day out there. 65 right now for Portland. Winds have uh, been more of an offshore flow from the east northeast, right about five miles per hour. And right now, we're sitting at 52 in government camp, low to mid 60s for the Gore, 67 right now in the Dow's. Madras at 65. Redmond in the upper 60s, but check out out towards the coast, Cannon Beach right now. Sitting at 59 degrees. We're generally in the mid to uh, lower 60s for the metro area right now. 61 uh, for uh, parts of uh, the western areas. 59 in Battleground as well as Camas. A couple of cooler spots right now. And 58 in Happy Valley. So for tonight, I think we'll stay partly cloudy. We might even become mostly clear by morning, but we are going to see some fog set in pretty much like we, what we saw this morning. Lows right around 51 degrees, and the winds will be light. Now by tomorrow, temperatures will make it into the lower 70s, a little bit warmer. I think we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds throughout the afternoon hours, but it won't last long. In fact, the clouds are really going to start to thicken by tomorrow evening as we start to see the next front approaching. Right now, what we're seeing is just mainly some light rainfall over the Washington Cascades points north and west. This is associated with that cold front that's going to be making its way in. So tonight we have a weak ridge that's building. You can see the clear skies right here. That's going to move over by tomorrow. As we look off toward the north and the west, here's that upper level trough right here in the main front. So this is going to arrive tomorrow. The coast most likely will start to see showers developing in the early afternoon hours for us in the metro area, most likely by the evening hours, and we could be experiencing some heavy downpours, but let's look further out into the ocean. You can see a stronger system right here that's going to arrive on Friday, and that's going to bring us the potential for some more heavy downpours as well. So we're going to stay unsettled, folks, so get prepared to be wet for the next several days. In fact, through the weekend, most likely. Here's tomorrow about 3.30. Notice how we start to see the rain developing along the coast. It's going to spread into the metro area and a good part of the valley, even part into the gorge and the Cascades by tomorrow evening. Right around 11 o'clock, could be looking at some of those heavier downpours. Into Tuesday, we're going to stay wet at times. Notice how you start to see some of the yellows and oranges on the map. So still going to see the chance for some heavier showers as well. And as that upper level low really starts to move into our area by Wednesday, we're going to have that cold air loft. We might even hear a few rum of thunder throughout the afternoon hours. Now, rain amounts, I'm going to take you through Wednesday and show you what we're looking at here. Potentially, maybe one to two inches along the coast could see isolated areas a little bit more. The valley could end up seeing about a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch, and then the highest terrain could end up right around an inch, inch and a half for parts of the Cascade. So mostly cloudy. You're going to see that rain developing tomorrow. It's going to be quite breezy with the southeast winds. Temperatures will stay in the 60s along the coast. Further south, a little bit warmer. You're going to see the clouds increasing later in the day for Salem with that rain developing. Clouds will thicken earlier for Kelso to have you right around 73 degrees, waking up with some morning fog. East side of the mountains, a decent day for you. We'll end up in the uh, lower 80s for Pendleton. Mostly sunny for Bend early, and then you'll see those clouds increasing in the evening with the night rain developing for government camp right around 56 degrees. So here's that extended forecast. Again, going to be unsettled through Tuesday and Wednesday. Slight break there for you on Thursday, but then that stronger system I mentioned on that map there arrives Friday, and we're going to see the potential for some more heavier downpours coming in then. All right.